Mr. Anderson's not due back until the 23rd. I'll see that he gets the message. Good morning. Hi, I'm here to see you. She's in a meeting. <laughs> I'll let her know that you called. Good morning. Oh, me? <laughs> you, uh, Matt Pizer. I'm starting work today under Tim Deal. I'll let his assistant know that you're here. Thank you. Would you care for something to drink? Uh, yes. A non-carbonated mineral water in a glass with two ice cubes and a wedge of lime. I read in a business magazine that whenever anyone offers you something, you should say yes and be as specific as possible. It's supposed to make you look decisive, authoritative, convey power. We have coffee. Coffee's fine. You have to get it yourself. No problem. Not that I put any stock in all that bunk anyway. I believe that the work should speak for itself. First job? It's that obvious? So where'd they have you park? Why? It's usually a good indicator of where you rank on the food chain. <laughs> Not far. You can go on back now. Thank you. Welcome to the rat race. You know, I've always wondered why they call it that. Matt? Yes? I'm Hal, Mr. Deal's assistant. I take care of all the word processing, data entry, scheduling, copying, faxing, dictation, inter-office mail, foreign language translations, and research for the department, in addition to answering the phones and my duties to Tim. What are you doing now? I'm on a break. You went to Yale? Uh-huh. It's a great school. Yeah, it was. I just wish I'd spent more time studying and less time goofing off. Oh, to be 12 again. If you don't mind my asking, how come you're a... Secretary? Yeah. I would think with all your qualifications you would have been promoted. I mean, what don't you do? Tim. Oh. Uh oh? -huh. First off, we'll check in with Evelyn. Okay. How strong are your arms? Parking pass, gate card, clearance badge, <laughs> operations manual, safety guidelines, phone directory, medical plan, dental plan, pension plan, and company calendar of paid holidays with special applications for Martin Luther King Day and Yom Kippur. It's one or the other. <laughs> I am also required to Welcome you to the Upton Weber family, an equal opportunity employer whose first belief is that trust makes for good business. I'll need a urine sample. So, how'd it go with Evelyn? She seems like a tremendous asset to the company, and a huge loss to the DMV. <laughs> Matt Pizer, I'd like you to meet Abby Cosgrove. Hi. Hi, Matt. You are not going to believe all the nights, weekends, and holidays will be working together under the gun. Operating on no sleep, eating out of takeout containers, breathing recycled air. Over the next year, we are going to spend more time together than we will with our families and loved ones. <laughs> it's going to be great! Are you hungry, Matt? Uh, no. 
Thank you. Because I'm more than happy to make you an omelet. <laughs> oh, uh, this is John Delaney. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't say much. That's because this is not my social life. This is my job, which I do very well, and then I keep to myself. And I think people around here respect that. Despite what they call me. What's that? Unabomber. <laughs> and that's Jimmy Clark. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Can I have your paper clips? Uh, yeah, sure. How come? Who's that? Management. Do they always travel in a pack? They have to. It's safety in numbers. This way, no one of them runs the risk of having to form his own opinion. You're kidding. <laughs> hey, Ted. Yes. Nice day, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Spooky. Listen up. Management regrets to inform you that due to abuse of the system, long distance calls will no longer be permitted. Oh, come on. Only management personnel will be provided with the necessary five digit access code. You Mongol hordes will not. It does not say Mongol hordes. It says Mongol hordes. <laughs> Are you ready to get to work, Matt? Well, actually, I was hoping to have a minute to... Get settled in. Take a deep breath. 